Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jager T62, and I have another World of Tanks review. This is, of course, the Valentine 2 Tier 4 Premium Light Tank for the Russian Tech Tree. And while it's not as special as the Alpha vehicles, and I will be doing videos on them, it wasn't until I was uploading the video for today about the BTSV that I remembered the Valentine's Day weekend event where these vehicles were on sale for 75% off. It was the Valentine 2, the Matilda Mark IV, and the Matilda Black Prince. So I picked up the Black Prince and the Mark IV and the Valentine, and I said I would do reviews of them. Obviously, Valentine's has been over for a while now. I completely forgot. But I do have the vehicle, and I decided I'd do the review anyway. Now, this is a very powerful light tank, in my opinion. It plays a lot like a medium tank, but its turret is balanced to be that with a fast firing sort of inaccurate light vehicle and so as always here's the comparison now there are not a lot of premium tier 4 vehicles that are light tanks so unlike today's video or I guess yesterday's video by the time I upload this one um, they're all progression vehicles matched to this now right off the bat the damage for this vehicle is on the high side at average damage being 47 per shot. That is nowhere near the AMX's 110 or the Kehoe's 70. Now, the, AM the AMX 40 is using, what is it using? The 75 millimeter gun, right. So that's actually my personal AMX 40. I probably should have configured it to be just standard, but that's why that's so high has average penetration 51 same as the a20 not the worst not the best again the Kehoe with 81 standard 74 for the amx 78 for the coventar rate of fire is 24 also not the best but not the worst that 75 millimeter on the amx 40 does take nine sec or does take a long time to reload i believe yeah six seconds nine nine rounds a minute 2.46 seconds on the Valentine, 2.3 in the A20, 2.2 for the Stewart and the PZ38. All of those are worse than the Coventar, but not by much. So, in the comparison, it's pretty much just the A20. So, just like the BTSV, this light tank has been balanced to pretty much represent the real progression vehicle as closely as possible. So, that way, it's not too overpowered. Now, where it does begin to differ is its hit point pool and its armor pool. It has 380 hit points, which is more than any of the other light tanks here. It gets 60 hull armor all the way around its front, sides, and rear. Uh, the AMX-40 does get 70 and 65 in the front and sides. It's 40 at the rear, making it slightly better than this. And it's curved, so it's obviously going to have that larger chance of ricochet. But this has sloped armor as well. And it gets 65 all around the turret. Again, almost beaten by the Amex 40s, 80 millimeters of curved armor there. But that is the highest upgraded turret, not standard. So compared to just standard light tanks at tier 4, this is an incredibly heavily armored vehicle. And it has the hit points, so that way if you do get penetrated, you can soak up a lot of damage before having to leave. Another place where it will differ is that it has the worst mobility. Again, it's balanced more like a medium tank. So its score is at 370, way worse than the A20, which has a score of 799. And the reason for that, it has 480 engine power, which is great. The Valentine only has 140, which is closer to the Kehoe and the AMX 40 on this list. It has a specific power of 8.1, which is, or 8.9. And it's only worse than the AMX-40, much worse than all the other ones, and of course, a lot worse than the A20s, 27.38. Top speed of 32 kilometers an hour, again, worst one on the board. And it has a traverse speed of 46.69. Not the worst, actually. Um, only 10 off from the Kehoe, making it the fastest traverse speed of all the light tanks present. So that does help. While you can't go very fast, you will not be able to scout as effectively in the Valentine. You will be able to prevent yourself from getting flanked a lot easier than any of these other vehicles. Now, concealment, 17. Not worse or better. 
than too much. Obviously worse than the Kehoe by 2%, but it doesn't really make a difference. It's pretty average. As you can see, we range from 13 on the AMX all the way to the 19. So it fits right within the rest of these vehicles. Spotting is 314 meter view range. It's pretty good, less than the M5 Stewart and the Kehoe, but it gets a signal range of 530 which is incredible for this vehicle and matches, again, medium tanks. So in terms of firepower, it's definitely a light tank at heart, but its armor, its engine balance, and its signal range allow it to perform a lot like a medium tank, and that sloped armor doesn't hurt. And if you look at it right here, these plates here are incredibly thick, and if any players do try to shoot you into the turret ring, there's a good chance they'll ricochet off of this sloped cover here, and then the slopes on the side also help. Now, it's not as sloped as, say, the AMX-40, which is completely curved, or the BTSV from yesterday, but don't let it fool you. It's a pretty heavily armored light tank, and again, I'm going to keep saying this even as I get to the gameplay. I play this as a medium because that mobility penalty for it being so heavy really doesn't allow you to scout. And it doesn't have the view range to scout either, but it does have a pretty great signal range. And while the gun doesn't do a whole lot, again, you get that 51 average damage or average penetration. Um, it fires relatively quick, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. I mean, it's not the best. It's pretty much just a light tank. But you can get it to go up to 84 millimeters of penetration and 35 to 60 damage with APCR. And just like with the BTSV for these Russian vehicles, I always run a little bit of APCR because they don't have very strong guns and they aren't very accurate runs. And APCR helps in both fields because not only does it give you extra penetration, but because they fly faster, or I should just say move a lot faster, their velocity is incredible you're able to hit moving targets a lot easier. So let's get into a couple of games and I'll just show you how the Valentine operates. And that'll be pretty much it for this review. All around so far before I go into any games is pretty much the same thing that I said about the BTSV. It's a premium tank, it's gonna earn you more credits and more XP to train, but it is not a lot better or a lot worse than any of the other light tanks. With the exception here, of course, just being the armor mobility, way better armor, way worse mobility. But other than that, pretty much a standard tier 4 light tank. Alright, spawn on El Hello. And it's an all tier 4 game, so it shouldn't be too bad. We only have one heavy to deal with, and it is a well armored one. But, you know, we're just going to go the hill anyway, because honestly, we're just doing 31 kilometers right now, which is going fine. Pretty slow. You can already see what separates this vehicle from the light tank. However, the armor it has should make up for that once we get into some engagements on the hill. Now, this vehicle also can't really keep up with contemporary mediums, which are usually much faster than 1728 and the Swedish uh, Lago. I don't know those names. Um, going much faster than we are. But that's okay. Just like this Hetzer knows, slow and steady wins the race. Keep trucking, little buddy. I don't know why he's going to the hill, and I also don't know why he's faster than us, but we are only doing 12 kilometers now, so. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. One of the great benefits of this tank is that by the time you get to the battlefield, most of the enemies will have been spotted, and you get some kind of, you know, you get that residual um, battlefield information. For example, not a lot of people are really moving up the hill, so we're probably going to lose it. Oh, actually, I don't know about the lava. It depends on what kind of guns. But the martyr definitely can kind of hit us. Okay, so we're both bound. That's great. Yeah, there's no way to save the martyr just sitting up there. You can also see that this gun is not incredibly accurate. And 
that's a miss. Wow. Whoa. You know what? I'm glad that headshot came up here. I didn't really know why he was on that hill, but now I know. Good guy. Good guy had to there. Looks like the martyr would be maybe. So yeah, I guess we'll just pick up. That Hetzer just saved my life. Okay, there's another Valentine too. Let's go to the APCR. Wow, how did I miss that? Very cool. Hetzer shot me. That's my fault for getting his way. I'm sorry. Didn't penetrate though, so. Oh, of course it didn't penetrate. They got rid of friendly fire. I completely forgot. I was about to say, wow, I'm so excited about this thing's armor. Not really. Still pick up the kill, but not do a lot of damage. Don't want to get that by heart. Okay, second kill. Oh, Artie's up here with us. Where are you just going to go save me? guys take a great pace. I still got the third kill though. Not doing a lot of damage, but there's a hit and you got hit by ah, the Chai E. Okay. So he was able to penetrate us through where? Oh the front right there. Was in the um nice. In a platoon with this Valentine. So watch out, team. Watch out, enemy team. Yeah, Artie's got a beat on us, and that Valentine is just sniping. He's a good player. Hey, shout out to, um. I think it didn't need APCR to play. Did we take any damage from that? No, we didn't. Ah! And my. Teammate and the Hetzer. Wow, okay, so. Pilla Pedrillo and then Tank Destroyer 1791. You guys are great. Pella, Pella, thanks for being in the platoon with me. Making this great. And to Tank Destroyer, yeah, obviously he's a Tank Destroyer. He's doing great. Destroying tanks. Excellent players, in my opinion. I mean, they're helping me out a lot, stay alive. That Hetzer saved my life twice now, so. Thank you. I don't know if you'll ever see this video, but if you guys do, I appreciate you. I appreciate you being on my team. Anyway, I'm gonna try to art it right now, but uh, I'm gonna be really slow about it. It's probably honestly really this is no wrong thing. I can't believe the Hutch was faster. That's wild. I mean, when you have a rate of fire this fast, you can afford to just blind fire a little bit. I did not even realize that the Mondo was... Oh my goodness, a Lux. And he's been destroyed. Ah oh no! They got the Hetzer! Yeah, I'm just gonna auto aim this trade shots. Which was a dumb yeah, I remember from yesterday's video where I was like, damn, don't auto aim when you're in a life or death situation. And then I just did it again and I died. Don't do it. Again, <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. I just kind of make this stuff up as I go along. So. Whatever. 
But all around, not a terrible game. Three kills, 400 damage, blocked 485, and spotted for 764. So a nice combined total there for a tier 4 game. Almost 1200 combined. So I'm not complaining. Again, thank you to Tella, Cordelio, and the Hetzer player. Great guys. Really fun playing with you. And let's get into the next game. Alright, so that game actually turned out to be a pretty nice um, win for me. Almost got top of the team by experience earned. Of course, only second to my amazing platoon mate is Valentine too, which was just a to great. Um, and got the win for us. Actually, the Matilda on the team got the win, which is camping our base. But I want to give credit to the Valentine. Valentine just had to stick together. Especially on a late Valentine's Day episode or review. Either way. Anyway, we're in another all tier 4 game. We are dealing with no enemy heavy tanks, which is nice. Some heavier medium tanks that we're going to see up on the ridge. And again, I'm going to keep playing this thing with the medium tanks so I'm going to move up to uh, the, B, the C or B2 area. Just kind of chill out with the T28. Two Russian tier 4 tanks just making it go over. Oh, and I did a mission apparently. I got these. So, you did the Valentine's Day mission, so maybe you got this decal. I don't really know what mission it was, but threw it on there because they Valentine's. Also, no artillery, so this is just going to hopefully be a really great game, and I won't make any mistakes like just auto aiming and clicking a button instead of actually playing the game. I get pretty lazy at lift here because I feel like I can just do whatever I want, but yeah. We gotta actually go oh, and Valentine. Yeah, I forgot to mention the compression values of this vehicle in comparison. It doesn't have any kind of pressure. So typical Russian medium. Oh wow, we're gonna lose this one to be part of that heavy doesn't get here. I'm gonna push this here. Yeah, this C28's gotta stop me. Ah, it's super nice. A lot of Valentine's I keep doing this. I keep, I keep doing that. I don't know why. Really don't want to get spotted by this T28. He will be able to penetrate fairly easily, as well as the martyr that's up there with him. So, I'm not going to do the best play here. I'm gonna camp yeah, instead of supporting. Kind of a dick move on my part, but I don't want to die, and this guy's definitely gonna die if he gets out there. Unless he's got some good view range. My commander's dead, so my view range is shot. Yeah. He's not gonna be able to outspot that larger. Great, then just move up. Oh, it's not looking good. I try to use these houses for cover. Might work, might not. I seriously have no idea what that T28 is. 
Oh, he's all the way back there, and he's on full health. That's just bad. Fabulous. Okay. Come on. Okay, the martyrs all the way back. Nope, there's two martyrs. Not a bad thing at all. Yeah, another all tier 4 game, so that's great. And not on a bad map at all. Which I wish I could win the name of it. Muravanka. Great. Cool. So, like most light and medium tanks on this map, even though, again, there's very few heavies that tier 4. I'm going to just play the 9 and 0 line. And, uh. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Feeling pretty good about it. These have been some good games so far. Pretty much like yesterday's video. Nothing too crazy great. Nothing too crazy bad. Just fun to play. Um, also, another Russian light tank. Forgot to mention that. Which probably picked it up. That yeah, these are just two Russian light tanks. Not really the class or nation I play a lot of. I do play a lot of Russian. But uh, I'm mostly the German. So, the PZ58 Mutz video will be coming up shortly because I miss my vehicles. I also miss, well, actually, I don't miss high tiers. Oh, wow, well, three artillery pieces. So it can do a lot of damage to us. It's not. It's not interesting. This many artillery pieces to show up. There's artillery even at this tier. He penetrated one shot. Okay, so last battle, not my best moment. We got really, really just crushed on this flank. Um, we do have a lot of headsers. Absolutely dominated. This is probably going to be a loss. So, you know, can't have the three wins every video like I had with the BTSD, but still happy and we still block 200 damage which is great this thing has a lot of armor for its tier and class so still very exciting vehicle in my opinion but we'll get to closing comments after that all right so yeah that ended up being a loss and i did not really contribute at all to any kind of victory scenario so that's kind of on me misplayed that when we got rushed but overall Still a very fun tank to play. If you didn't pick it up, I'm not entirely sure if the sale is still going on. Don't worry about it. Just like I said with the BTSB, this is just a very fun tier 4 light tank. It's not going to really 
dominate on the battlefield, and it's not going to be completely obliterated on the battlefield either. It sits right in the middle of all the other light tanks, and it's very nice to play. Obviously, if you are looking for a light tank that's going to help you get up your Russian crews, there's not really many options besides this one. So unfortunately, you will need to play this one if you're looking for that. But if you're not, don't worry about it. And if you are and have to play it, just be aware this is going to play pretty much like a medium. So not going to help you learn how to play light tanks on the Russian line that well, but it will be a good time, at least in my opinion. And, you know, it does give you that, of course, 50% more XP, 50% more credits, and 50% more crew XP for anybody you put in it. Now, there are only three crew slots. I think that's the average for Russian light tanks, but I could be wrong. But definitely worth it, in my opinion. If you don't have this vehicle, I would recommend checking it out. It's a pretty fun tank to play. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified when the Mutz video goes up or any of the other reviews that I'll be doing throughout this week. Or give it a thumbs up if you just enjoyed the content or you yourself enjoy the Valentine. As always, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this vehicle if you have it. Or if you don't have it, yeah, you know, whether or not this sways you into getting it. Or at least considering it. Not everybody needs a premium light tank at tier 4, but you never know. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.